get the, the number from the uh, the uh, sheriff's department. Without the shares, what's what's projected to be the amount of money in the general fund for the next fiscal year? The revenue projection? Yes. I could probably have uh, Sharon can give that revenue projection. She's still working on it. She can give you that number. You don't have an approximate number, Mr. City Manager? I can give conservative, but I want her to give you the more accurate numbers. You can give me an approximate. Because I'm, I'm, I'm dealing with approximates because the shares are dictating what our budget's going to be. That's basically what you're saying. No, I, I didn't say that. I, well, you said you're year, waiting for them to give you the numbers. The reason why I'm saying that is last year, they didn't do any sort of an increase, and I think it was all politics. I anticipate they're probably going to come back with an increase this year. That's all I'm saying. What was the projected budget for the sheriffs last year? I'm trying to think. We ended up with $24 million. Was that $24? 17 And I'm thinking most likely they're going to propose a maybe from six to ten percent increase this year, but I haven't gotten that number yet. You said seventeen. I asked Jimmy the number. I'm looking in the budget. No, that's wrong. For 22-23, and it says twenty-four million. That's right. And some change. So why is seventeen coming? And if it's a ten percent, that's going to be an, another two point four million dollars. So now we up to. 26, 27, and I've heard rumors that it's going to be 28 million. If 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 our revenue was around 56 million, am I wrong, Miss City Controller? By a nod of your head, is it around 56 million? Yes. So if it's 28 million, that means they're using 50 percent of our budget on law enforcement. 50 percent. Well, I recognize that. That's the reason why the citizens of Compton get screwed. Screwed. Well, Mr. City Attorney, Repu I re re I'm, I'm, I'm being real frank now. I told you my patience is gone. It's, I'm gone. Trash day for me last week was Friday. I know it was a holiday, but yesterday they still hadn't picked up my trash. And I purposely didn't call because I don't want to use my position as a city attorney. So if they do that to me, they know where I live. What about the other citizens? And it makes the city look bad. All down central, you got trash cans. My trash can goes in the alley. But all down, and then that's a traffic hazard. Because if somebody hit one of those trash cans and somebody gets hurt, the taxpayers are going to have to be paying for that. We got to do better. Mr. City Attorney, I just... Mr. Uh, uh, Mr. City Attorney, I am, I have issues with a city this size not having their own police department. I'm not talking and, about, a, I'm not talking okay, about uh, the police department. Please you, understand that. I thought you were referring that, to... That, that, that ship has sailed. I don't want nobody to put that on me because I think that's what a lot of people are trying to use by me having code enforcement and security and parking that I'm trying to bring in the police department. No, I'm not. I'm following the law of the city of Compton. The municipal code section 2-19 says that I didn't vote on, that the city attorney's office is the chief law enforcement officer of the city. And there's precedent. Precedent means something that's been going on before. In the past, those departments were under the city attorney's office. Now everybody's fighting me to say that I can't do it. I follow the law. Don't send me an email that's saying it's a violation of the municipal code and you don't give me no authority. I deal with authority. My patience has run thin. I'm going to talk as much as I need to talk to turn this city around. Uh, Jimmy. And in regards to code enforcement, I agree with your recommendation. I recommend it in the budget. Mr. City Manager. Jimmy, you're standing there. Could you please uh, share information with us regarding the budget, please? So with regards to the sheriff's contract, it's two components. There's the operation component, which is $17 million. There's $7 million, which, which issued the 24. What? You, you said the operation piece is $17 million. It's approximately $17 million for the operation, the actual officers. 
then the city has a portion called liability insurance that we're responsible for paying into the sheriff's insurance fund. How much is that? <clears throat> the way the contract we have with the sheriff's department, if the sheriff deputy does some kind of abuse in Lancaster and that person wins a lawsuit, we have to pay a portion of it here in the county. That's correct. Is that what you're talking about? Yes, sir. Okay, I want to make sure the citizens know what you're talking about. Go ahead. That's the... And you said the other $7 million is all more a liability, liability insurance. Liability insurance, in That's which there's 42 cities that's a part of this uh, contract cities, and all of us pay into that liability insurance. Yes, ma'am. That's correct. Do we have excessive insurance on that? I don't recall offhand. I don't believe so, but I can double check. So we have the commission, the L.A. commission, <clears throat> did a report and said we had over 38 executioners at the compensation. Okay. Is that correct? So if they do any type of, any, I don't know how many lawsuits are out there. So that $7 million, it could potentially rise because the county of L.A. not going to take up the paying for it. They're going to pass it on to the cities, those 42 cities of America talking about. So we really don't know what this contract for the sheriff's going to be. So, so, so Mr. City Manager, Council, Attorney, you... You know, City Man, we talked about this a long time ago. The sheriff almost seemed to be controlling us, if you will. <clears throat> Why haven't we looked at an alternative law enforcement, period? Be it LAPD, Long Beach, something. The sheriffs are not the only law enforcement agency that can take care of us, if you will, if we're having all these issues. And they're essentially controlling us. There are alternatives, and I think if we have this prepared on the table, say either you do this or we're going this route. They can't hold this open barrel, but we've taken no action. May I say this? Is that uh, I don't think anyone disagree with anything that's happening here in regards to that because it, it you know, a statement was made some years back, and uh, it was stated that uh, at some point the city of Compton would not be able to afford the sheriff's department. And, uh, and honestly, I think we all understand that mm -hmm. because of what we're dealing with. But if we are not going to take uh, the uh, initiative ourselves to try to actually be able to start looking at what is our options, we cannot blame the sheriff's department. We have to blame ourselves. And we really do because uh, when that statement was made, that was made some years back. And I think at that time, it's, it was pretty, it would have been uh, incumbent upon us to start taking a look at what would then, if this happened, what is our options? What, is, what, what can you do? What direction should we be going? Because we have to make sure that we protect uh, our citizens here in the city of Compton. And so uh, I, and that's, that, that, I just think it's, we just have to sit back and start having more of a discussion about what, what the city is facing and be honest about what we're facing mm -hmm. and are uh, not trying to uh, sugarcoat things, but being honest about what we're really facing here as far as the city is concerned. So and, the um, city of uh, Santa Fe Springs, they contracted with the uh, Whittier Police Department. So it is doable. We just have to look. So uh, if uh, Mr. City, uh, Mr. City Manager, do you have any more co any co comments? No, I mean, if it's uh, the wish of council long term to look at contracting with some other place. I know we try to bring back our police department. That's an option to look at, but there's an expense involved. I'm saying bring the police department back. Again, that's, I've already agreed. Let's push that to the side. I'm just saying the sheriffs are not the only alternative. There's other options. We just have to look into them. And I think that's what the city, uh, city manager was, uh, was alluding to. Uh, but right now, uh, if you do not have any other comments to be made, Mr. City Manager, I would like to get a motion to for us to close the Madam Mayor, in all, close the, out the, uh, in all due respect, workshop. this is a budget workshop. Mm -hmm. And we should have numbers so that you guys and the public can know what we actually going to be prepared for in the next fiscal year. Then we can, Is that going to happen in the next couple of weeks? Because right now, I don't even know. Miss it. In my department, and okay. I, I just want I, I, I want to make sure everybody knows that I'm going to be transparent as transparent can be. Mr. The word was code Mr. enforcement. Mr. City, city manager, just I got you. I no, no, I'm saying this, Ms. I, Madam Mayor. All due respect, 
this code enforcement, parking, and security should be under the city attorney's office. Whether I'm the city attorney, somebody else is the city well, attorney. I might retire tomorrow. If that's the case, and if the city the city manager is going to put code enforcement, I should know that. If I'm the department head. A lot of these people don't say anything because they're on probation. They can't say nothing because they say the wrong thing. They won't make probation and they'll be fired. I can talk. So I'm going to say what I have to say. And if I need to be the voice piece for those people that can't talk, I'm going to be the voice people, voice piece for them. That's all I have to say. Well, Thank Eric, you. I, I thought it was already Wait a minute. Minute. Eric, I recommended you. you get code enforcement, gave a legal opinion, and I agree with you. And we'll talk about this tomorrow because you don't want to you don't want to put all the dirty laundry out. If you do, I'm okay with it. Because not only code enforcement should be underneath the city attorney's office, security and parking control, not business licensing. That don't have nothing to do with law enforcement. That's separate. And I know the unions got to do what they got to do, but that's what the law is. And I don't mind going to court to get a writ from a judge ordering you to do it. And I'm telling the council that too. I've been holding on. I told Mr. Simpson when I first got here, I don't like putting stuff on paper. That's not the good way to do it. I like to talk behind scenes. I told Mr. Simpson, could you put them underneath the city attorney's office? I talked to him. He didn't do it. So I put it on paper. But you know there's no secrets here in Compton. Then I find out that him and Mr. Ward, they go golfing together. Yeah, I'm putting it all out. I'm tired of this stuff. I want my city to be the city on the hill. And you can't make it be the city on the hill? Get out. Go. Leave. Mr. City Attorney, they've already been in